Whatever industry you work in, AI will probably transform it. Just as maybe about 100 years ago, electricity transformed industry after industry, everything from transportation, communications, uh, manufacturing, healthcare was transformed with the rise of electricity. I think that today we see a surprisingly clear path for AI to transform all of these industries. So I actually hope that whatever industry you are in, that you, you know, figure out how to leverage AI because I think it will create new winners and losers in almost every category. One very common pattern you see a lot of industries is that first the industry is digitized so that you know, activities move to computers. So that creates data and that's the first kind of IT transformation wave. And then with the data that gives AI an opportunity to come in and eat the data and automate decisions or do things more intelligently. So for example, I think the uh, online advertising realm, uh, possibly the most, uh, single most lucrative application of AI today might be online advertising, right? Deciding what ad to, to, to show people. Because um, the online advertising realm has always been a digital realm, so there's tons of data. The AI for that is very sophisticated today. Healthcare has been a little bit further behind. Uh, in the United States, over the last eight years or so, I guess, the uh, Affordable Care Act or the rise of electronic medical records um, is creating data and now it is at the face for the industry for AI to come and eat that data. I think education is a little bit further behind. A lot of education is still offline analog. So let's be predictive. You mentioned my, my nine-year-old twins earlier so they're in the phase now of coming to me and saying what they want to be when they grow up. Um, what things that they might say to me should I tell them that I'm sorry that job won't exist when you're an adult. Radiology is one you've mentioned before that's that's in the crosshairs right? What, yeah. what, where, where else? Where else is like in the in the target zone? Yeah, you know the the, the radiology point. If any of you have I don't know uh, friends or children or whatever studying med school, and AI is getting much better at reading radiology images, frankly. So if any of your friends are going through medical school and graduating with like a degree in radiology. I think they might have a perfectly fine five-year career as a radiologist. <laughs> the, the broader pattern is that um, in any task where there are a lot of people doing ru relatively routine, repetitive work, when a lot of people are kind of doing very similar things, that creates a very strong incentive for AI teams to come and automate that task. So we talked a lot about self-driving cars. I think that will displace a lot of workers, call center operators, many people doing relatively similar things will, will, will displace that. Um, so th there's actually a, one other rule of thumb. You know, this thing, what can AI do, is a little bit of a mysterious concept. So there's one highly imperfect rule of thumb I've sometimes offered my teams, which is um, almost anything that a typical, typical human can do in, uh, with, with less than one second of mental thought, we can probably now or in the near future automate using AI, such as um, security guard looking at a video feed and saying, are there people in this? Are they doing something suspicious? That task is actually taking a lot of one second judgment things and stringing them together. And so I think a lot of that job can also be automated.